focus on your breath. No one is coming in, no one is going out. Have a sense of goodwill for your breath. After all, it's the force that keeps you alive. So allow it to come in comfortably, go out comfortably. Try not to force it too much. Try to listen to what it wants to do, what it needs to do for the body. This is the season, as I say, of peace and goodwill. And lots of people complain that going around trying to be peaceful and having goodwill for everybody is driving them insane. Everybody gets stressed out trying to be happy and, and kind to one another, which is a sad commentary on the human mind. Because we really don't understand how we can cultivate goodwill in all situations. Because after all, we say, well, there are some people who've said nasty things or done nasty things to us or to people we love or to people in general. How can you feel goodwill for them? We have to remember what goodwill is. Goodwill is a wish for happiness. It means also wishing that people understand the causes of happiness, too. So it's not just saying, well, continue to be doing what you're doing and be happy at the same time. You have to look at what people are doing. Sometimes they're doing things that are really unskillful. So basically your wish for goodwill is that they learn how to stop doing unskillful things. But sometimes there's still a sense of resentment, someone who's harmed us in the past. It's really hard to wish for them to be happy. And the Buddha says you've got to contemplate this. There are three contemplations he gives. One is if the person has been unkind in his words or her words, but has actually done helpful things for you in his or her actions. The Buddha said you're like a monk coming along in the middle of the desert and you find a piece of cloth. The part of the cloth is stained, but part of the cloth is usable. And as a monk, you want to use good cloth. So you learn how to cut off the good part and leave the bad part behind. So the same with the other person's good actions. You take those good actions, you focus on those, and you leave the bad words behind. Or in another case in which they've been nice to you in their words but bad to you in their actions, he says it's like coming along. Again, you're in the desert. You're hot, tired, tr trembling from thirst, and you come across a little puddle of water in the footprint of a cow. If you tried to scoop it up, the water would get muddy. So what you do is you get down and you slurp it up. That's not a very dignified position. But you basically want to make sure you don't get the mud, you just get the water. And then the third contemplation is if you look at that person's actions and they've done things and said things, you can't see anything good in what they've done or said for you. Then it's like coming along across the desert and you find somebody who's sick, lying on the side of the road, totally helpless. You have to feel compassion for that person. Maybe you're not in a position to help, but at least you feel compassion for people who are suffering like that. And notice in all of these examples the Buddha is saying that you, you're coming through the desert. In other words, you can't afford to be feeding on other people's bad actions. If you let them their bad actions inflame your mind, okay, you're going to make yourself even hotter and more thirsty. You've got to learn how to focus on the good actions of other people. You need their goodness like water. It nourishes the body, nourishes the soul. So remember, you're not in a position just to say, okay, I've got to get back at this person. What they did was unjust. You have to look at your own position. What, what do you need? You need water. You need to see that there is some goodness in the human race. Otherwise, it's very hard to be good yourself. And you're, if your own goodness suffers, okay, then, then you really suffer. So look for the good in other people. And if there's no good at all, just feel sorry for them. And either way, develop goodwill. May they be happy. May they somehow understand what will bring about true happiness. So if they're stingy, may they be generous. If they're immoral, may they learn to be more moral. If they have no control over their greed or anger or delusion, may they learn some control. That's what you're wishing for when you're wishing goodwill, extending thoughts of goodwill. And this kind of goodwill, it's a lot easier to spread to everybody. And it's something you should try to do every day, because when you have goodwill for everyone, you can trust your own actions a lot more, that you're not going to try to sneak in some way of getting back at somebody, which just piles up more and more bad karma on yourself. So for your own good as well as for theirs, try to develop goodwill as much as you can.